Welcome back guys! Today we are going to have an update. I'm going to do this every two to three to four weeks so where I actually go through a little bit about my main topics that I am working on. So first of all we're going to start with one very hot topic and that's the fire video that I did the other day. Some people think that it was a waste of batteries, some people think that it was really cool to see and some people said that yeah but it was not really good test. And I agree with them. The first test I did there wasn't very good. The only thing that actually showed was that batteries when they do explode they explode very very hard and I mean and basically there will be at least two more videos coming about this topic. And I will go through three things that I didn't go through properly in this video. First of all, can I trigger a cell to go boom with just charging and discharging? I'm also looking into how I can trigger one cell with heat only. And that's because if the first one fails, I need to be able to trigger the cell in a safe way. So I have a couple of ideas there on how I will do that. Lastly, it's also important about can we protect it? Can we build the cells into a box that actually protects everything if it goes bananas? So I have an idea there as well how we will do that. So let's see if we can get that into a video as well. The Super 7 video. Where is the Super 7 video? It's coming. Uh, unfortunately I do need to go with a frame for inspection before I do any major weld welding and I don't want to spend a lot of time having to cut everything up again. And due to the weather here I have not been able to do that yet. I have a couple of steering parts on the way here if I'm not mistaken and they will arrive in a couple of days. I also have a lot of other ongoing aspects. I do work on a charge board where I put together all my different charges on one of the same board. Let's see how that goes. I also am working on a speaker box that is driven by Bluetooth and I like that project, you will see how that looks in a future video as well. Last but not least, some of you guys have heard that I have been talking about the BMS. What is a BMS? BMS is a battery monitoring system or even battery management system. I have been spending a couple of weeks now on my system. We are still in the stadium where we are discussing the hardware. At the same time we have started with the software. What's special with my BMS you may ask? One of the things is the cost. I don't like the cost of every BMS out there because most of them that do what I want, and I'm talking about active balancing for instance, most of them cost between 600 and 1500 euro. That is way too expensive for me for a single string system. Batrium is one BMS that have come up lately and it looks pretty damn good. Their design is very much the same as mine and I understand that because that's a very very good design. So let's see about that. I will update you guys as soon as I have anything more about that and as soon as I'm coming anywhere the end goal is to release this to everyone and make it open source. We'll see what happens. And that's basically it for today. I want to keep this very very short because we shouldn't spend too much time on updates. And hopefully you like this. If you want to follow my projects please don't forget to subscribe and press the thumbs up if you like it. And I'll see you next time. Thank you and bye.